What's up you guys, Hi, Hiles here today and we're gonna power up the runes for our Headless Horseman today. Um, he's right now at 4 stars and we're gonna use 87 rune crystals to power up the Headless Horseman. So here is my Headless Horseman. And his runes and his rune power is really low, we've got 42 for his HP, level 2 for physical attack, level 3 for physical defense, level 3 for hit and level 3 for level 30 for dodge. So with our 87 purple rune, we're gonna level him up. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop his rune power at level 40. So we've got his physical attack at level 40. We move on to the physical defense. Powering up like crazy, you know if you you're gonna you're gonna use the normal items, it's like five exp per per item. But with the purple runes, it's a thousand exp, you know per level. So we've got fifty runes. Can we max out the healer's horseman today? So it's level forty rune. Going to go on to the dodge rune. So it's. You know, many people have been using Headless Horseman as a tank in the front line, um, and he's great at the back line as well. Um, he's a good combo with Nightblade because both of them are linear attackers, so they attack both um, the front and back heroes in a line. It's pretty good. Um, if you if you use him in your defense team, it will be pretty much helpful as well. So we've got 23 purple runes right now and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 emblems. So we're going to use 4 runes per um, per rune slot. So we've got the power, the, the health at level 44, 1, 2, 3, 4. We've got the physical attack at rune level 44. We've got, we're going to make, yep, yeah, we're going to make physical defense to level 44. We're gonna make hit rate to level forty four, and we're gonna we're gonna level up dodge rate to level forty four. So this is it with eighty seven purple runes giving me a thousand exp. I have leveled up my Hitler's horseman, and he is almost good to go in my arena right now. Let me see if there is any spare items that I can use to boost my Hitler's horseman. Um, I'm really thinking whether I should use my purple items to boost him up. Um, is it worth it or not? Uh, but I think I'll just stop here for today. For today. Right now we're going to check out the emblem for the for Headless Horseman. He's under the Heart of Flame, which increases the, the defense for male heroes. I can actually increase my emblem crystal. Um, you know, for emblem crystal, I buy... All the items that require guild points every day in the treasure shop. So we've got um, the free items, which cost no money, and we've got the shop, which allows you to purchase with diamond. But I only use the ones that ex that exchange with tokens, and I've bought um, every day. I buy the four items that show up here right now, and uh, right now my guild is at chapter eleven. It's pretty much one of our key milestone accomplishments that we have done and we're not moving on to chapter chapter 12 because it's hard but we're only um, stopping at level chapter chapter 11 and today I've got um, pretty bad loots from the chapter treasure I've got 20 slot tickets which is very very bad the next hero that I will I will be training would be Light Envoy as well as Narrator so I can unlock Kiki, but I'm not going to use it right now. I'm going to train Light Envoy as well as um, Narrator, and I guess the update for League of Angels will be happening real, real soon. We're going to bring Halo Horseman into the arena. I'm going to replace um, probably Rose Knight with the Halo Horseman, and okay, we'll see how we can do. I'm gonna fight SG Alcon right now, so um okay maybe we're gonna fight we fight Kronos with 120k BR rating. So looking at looking at his hero lineup, he's using Headless Horseman as well. Um, so I'm gonna put Rose Knight in the at the bottom bottom front row to counter Knight Sentinel which is at the back. Since I have the Headless Horseman, I am going to put Elder Dwarf in the middle and we're gonna use Nightblade to take down the the flame spirit 
and we're going to use Hateless Horseman to counter him as well. And we can use Astral Child, or probably... I'm not going to use Exorcist in this fight because I don't need Exorcist, but, but I might need either a Summoner or the Astral Hunter. So I'm thinking which of it that I should go, and I guess I will be using... You know what? I will be using Hitler's Horseman at the back of Rose Knight and Astro Chow in front so that she gets enough rage to do her ultimate which shields my heroes and protects them from damage from the Flame Spirit. Yeah, I call I call I call her the Flame Spirit. So in this match we're both we're both using Athena, Night Big Strikes first and Night Sentinel next. I'm counting on Athena's um six star dodge to Dodge Knight Sentinel's attack, yes. So Rose Knight dodge the attack. Um, we're gonna have Elder Dwarf sustaining the middle lane where he, where Hitler's Horseman is gonna take a, a, a hard time killing Elder Dwarf. And we've got Knight Sentinel at the top back lane. He's gonna do back row damage all the way at the back of Ambient Spirit. Oh shit! And Astro Charles' shoe does reflect damage, and Ambient Spirit just dies. He just falls down flat. So right now, Elder Dwarf's sh Astro Shoe is gone. You see um, Hitler's Horseman trying to do damage to Knight Sentinel. Can we win? With it's a 5 versus 4 damage. And Hitler's Horseman in, his, in the opponent's team has fallen. We we're left with the two legendary tankers, Elder Dwarf and Nether Knight. They are really, really annoying. And I, I pretty much hate them so much. Okay, so we're, we're fighting. We're trying to bring down Elder Dwarf. What do you see, Elder Knight? Did I see Elder Knight? Oh man, what a blunder. So he doesn't get his sh shield. Rose Knight is left with one eighth of the life. Astro, sh Astro Chow shields him. Shields him can. Okay, so Hitler's Horseman is taking down Knight Sentinel. Athena heals and tries to sustain the team. Knight's, Knight Blade is trying to bring down the Elder Dwarf, and Rose Knight does his ultimate to take down Knight Sentinel. We're left with the two tanks. I should be able to take them down both with um, hopefully Hitler's Horseman's silence works on um, Night Never Night. And come on, Night Blade is going to take down Elder Dwarf. He's bleeding. We just need an, an ultimate from Night Sentinel from Night Blade. And we're left with Elder Dwarf. He tries to heal himself, but his shoe, his shoe cannot sustain him for long. We're gonna bring him down as soon as we're left with 24 seconds. Can we do it? Athena's healing him like crazy. Oh crap, this is so close. Can we bring him down? Come on, stun the Elder Dwarf. Okay, we, we have an ultimate from Night Blade. He heals. He's not getting his shoot. We just need, um, okay, he minus his rage. Five more seconds. And oh shit, Athena heals and we're not able to bring down. Are we able to? No. Shit, just a little bit of health. It was quite close a battle and we have lost because of that that minor minor mistake. Well that was a really close fight and we're left with 10 seconds. We're gonna try and fight um Kronos 31 again, but this time around I'm gonna change my angel. Instead of using a Tina, I'm I am I will be using the new poison angel. So we're gonna see how the angel defers Athena versus the new angel, the poison angel. But she's only at 4 stars right now. Um, it's great that Do um, Rose Knight is dodging Knight Sentinel's attack. You know, Knight Sentinel's. Um, Knight Sentinel is. It would get weaker and weaker as the game progresses because um, it, once you get the 6 star hero, dodge rates for heroes will be higher. So he's gonna miss most of the time. And same goes for. Um, attack heroes like Demon Hunter where they don't have the accuracy or hit rune and this is hard for them to score hits on um, on the heroes as well and not not <coughs> considering the fact that Rose Knight has high heal, high dodge rate, high health but what did I say high heal? High dodge rate, high um, parry damage so he's gonna tank the bulk of um, Knight Sentinel and that is why I always use Rose Knight in the front row. So we're left with Hitler's Horseman as well as the two legendary tanks. 
gonna, we're gonna count on Night Blade to bring down Elder Dwarf. I hope. I hope we can. And right now we're gonna wait for Flora to do her rage damage or poison damage on the three heroes as much as possible. We just need a, need to score a bleed on Elder Dwarf, which we're not looking at. We're not getting right now. Nether Knight silence right now. It's it's great news. So hopefully, Hitler's Horseman is going down because of it of of the bleed attack from Night Blade. He's going down real soon, and Flora takes Hitler's Horseman down. We're left with Elder Dwarf and Nether Knight, and we've got less than a minute right now. We're trying to bring down Elder Dwarf and Astro Charles. Shield right now isn't really helping. We need to score a bleed or a silence on the Nether Knight. So we've got def in um, deflect. We've got strong strong shield. We're still not seeing any progression on the Elder Dwarf. So it's his bleed. His he's in his bleed right now, but his shield is um, preventing damage. Can we do it? Can we bring down the Elder Dwarf? And Night Blade does his ultimate and brings down the Elder Dwarf. Right now we're left with Nether Knight, but he's not as tanky as the Elder Dwarf. So we're gonna have Hitless Horseman to do. Come on, man! Poison and we need Night Blade. Come on, shit, 7 more seconds and we are not able to score a victory once again because of the shield from the two legendary tankers. Oh my gosh. So this is it, we've lost the game and probably we need um, heroes that can CC or stun the frontline heroes um, to score a win. So why don't we just try once more and try and bring down Kronos and this time round I will be using... Let me see the Earth Shaker in replacement of the Hitless Horseman. Because Earth Shaker's basic attack can do stun damage to the front and he has high hit rate for the Earth Shaker. So Earth Shaker's gonna try and bring down Nether Knight. His ultimate is going to score us um, good damage as well. So we're gonna we're gonna wait and see how he fares. Um, the replacement of Hitless Horseman against Earth Shaker. I'm just waiting for a stun from Earth Shaker, but Rose Knight is going down because okay. So we've seen we've seen a stun on Nether Knight right now. We just need Astro Child to shoot. Um. Oh shit. So my Rose Knight is down currently. Okay. So Night Blade's doing very good, very well in taking down the Fire Spirit, the Flame Spirit, whatever it, she's called. And we see Headless Horseman going down. Earth Shaker is stunning Nether Knight completely like crazy and that is what we want. We're left with the three same heroes. Can we do it? He stuns and crap, Elder Dwarf is down from my side. We're left with three V three V2 right now and we're gonna we're gonna count on the stun from Earth Shaker. We're gonna count on Nether um Night Blade Blood Attack. Come on man, bleed Elder Dwarf. Do it, do it. Okay, so we've got stun on Nether Knight, we've got the ultimate that Night Blade has done and Elder Dwarf does his shoe again. Not to worry, we're left with 1 minute and 11 seconds. Um, we're really counting on Elf Shaker right now to do a stun. Come on, do a stun. Yep, Gift of God, stun Nether Knight. So we're left with Nether Knight once again. And can we take him down? Are we able to take him down? Uh, he, res he resisted the ultimate from Earth Shaker, which should have actually stunned him. We see Gift of God, yep, and he stuns Nether Knight. Athena heals the Nether Knight. Um, Nether Knight tries to to get his life steal, but his he is going down from the ultimate of Night Beat. So with three attempts, I finally take down Chronos 13 with his Elder Dwarf and Knight Nether Knight. So this is really really insane tanking from the two legendary tanks, which I I say. So we see a. Uh, 3 defeat from Kronos and finally a victory that I have won because I've changed my Hateless Horseman with the Earth Shaker. So um, this is great, this is great. Um, I'm right now um, at rank 16 so I hope you guys enjoy today's um, spotlight. The spotlight should be Hateless Horseman but well Earth Shaker stole the limelight and th there you go Earth Shaker ladies and gentlemen. So don't forget to subscribe and like my videos and if you want any comments or or feedback just post them in my um, in the comments below and I will be glad to answer them so take care good luck and I'll see you guys soon ciao